Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I have missed you guys so much, even though you guys have... Sorry. As I was saying, even though you guys have seen my face recently, it is because I did some pre-filming and I was uploading regularly on my channel, but I haven't actually filmed in over probably a little over a week and it definitely feels so good to be back in my makeup room sitting down i actually have some snacks with me um, i almost ate them all i have some sliced apples and i'm just munching on this nature valley sweet and salty nut because i'm getting a little bit hungry but it's not lunch time just yet so today's video is going to be a little bit more relaxed a little more chit chatty more just chill i want to give you guys a baby bump update i am currently 12 weeks pregnant if you guys are not following me on my social medias make sure that you do because i will try to update you guys as much as i can i haven't really been updating you guys on anything one because i did keep my pregnancy not a secret but i just kept it to myself for a long time because if you guys remember i did experience a um, miscarriage last time and I just wanted to make sure that I waited and shared this moment with you guys but now that I think we're safe hopefully everything is good I feel good baby feels good um, I'm excited to share this with you guys so we're gonna be getting ready pretty much I'm gonna be showing you guys a few makeup items that I picked up while I was in California I did want to try out and I know I'm late the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild collection I literally received this like a day or two before we left to California. So I have looked at it, but I haven't had a chance to play with it. So that's what we're gonna do today, you guys. Grab a snack, grab some water. That's all I can drink now is water. I haven't been drinking soda. I haven't been drinking coffee. So proud of myself. But if you guys aren't pregnant like me, grab your beer, grab your little michelada, your wine, whatever it is, and let's get ready together. All right, so first things first is just priming the skin. My skin, I feel like it's been doing so good, you guys. It is glowing, it is thriving. When I was pregnant with Lonnie, if you guys don't follow up with my life or anything, because you guys know I am a very private person, and I don't know, that's just how I like to live my life privately. But when I was pregnant with Lonnie, which she is my only daughter, obviously, I had really bad skin for some reason. Like I just kept breaking out every single day. I had like a new breakout, it felt like. And then towards the end of my pregnancy, like my third trimester, that's when my skin started kind of like clearing up. And with this baby, like my skin is just doing so good. And ugh, I do run out of breath a lot, so please excuse me. Even though we've been to like California, Vegas, and then Utah, and like all these places and change of weather, my skin has been doing pretty good, so... I am happy to announce the skin is looking good, y'all. <laughs> now, for foundation, this is something new. I did mention to you guys that I bought this foundation. Oh, <laughs> I bought this foundation um, in LA. If you guys live in California or if you guys live in the like LA area, you guys know where the callejones are. Literally the best place to shop for anything. They had a bunch of beauty creations makeup. And honestly, I really haven't tried much of anything from beauty creations so i've been wanting to try this foundation i just didn't want to buy it online because i suck at matching myself so i went in stores and the girls from uh the store were super nice and they were like helping me match myself to the foundation so i picked this one up it is the flawless stay foundation this is a medium to full coverage and i pick up this sh i picked up the shade fs 5.0 holy crap you guys this foundation is full coverage long wearing it does have like a matte finish it blends out so beautifully on the skin you guys will see in just a second all i do is one full pump and literally that is enough for my entire face and you guys know that i'm a full coverage queen i'm also going to take their little sponge this is actually the first time that i'm going to try it i haven't tried it i just got it soaked and it does feel a little bit like spongy and nice so we're gonna see how this works but the foundation i definitely give it like a big thumbs up so anyways back to the baby bump update so like i said i am currently 12 weeks pregnant i am due on september 30th they either have me for september 30th or october 1st you guys see how this is just blending out super super nicely i seriously love this foundation when I bought it in Los Callejones, like this is the only thing that I wore after because it is just that good. And 
Unfortunately, when we were in California, we didn't get the best of weather. Uh, I was so bummed out. It was pretty much raining like we were there for about a week and I want to say four out of the seven days that we were there it rained it was so disappointing and then being sick you guys definitely didn't help not sick as in like <clears throat> cough or anything but just being pregnant and getting nauseous being in a car constantly oh it did not make it easy i had fun but i wish i would have enjoyed it a little bit more without like all the car sickness and the nausea and the vomiting but yes baby is looking super healthy i actually have an appointment um, I have to reschedule an appointment because I missed my appointment for Monday. I've been so like spaced out. We got home Sunday, just this Sunday. Today is Tuesday, March 17th. And literally when we got home, I was tired. I was homesick. I like missed my fur babies and I was just ready to be back home in my bed. Like I was so done with being in a car for so many hours and I totally spaced that I had an appointment that Monday. On top of that, this whole coronavirus that's been going on has just, oh my god, I am such a paranoid person that when I heard, when I heard everything that was going on here in Utah, how there was like no water, no toilet paper, um, there was barely any food, we left to California literally, excuse my language, when shit hit the fan literally we could have not gone at a worse place or a worse time my brain was just not thinking about my appointments luckily i have a really good friend and she is a nurse at the place where i go get checked and she helps me like reschedule my appointments so um i do have an appointment coming up very soon and they're just keeping an, a close eye on me because i did have a miscarriage they want to make sure that everything is fine now as far as symptoms i really haven't experienced much thank god um, when I was pregnant with Lana, you guys, this was obviously seven years ago. It was so bad. I got really, really, really sick with her. I had the worst morning sickness. I even ended up in the hospital because I just couldn't hold anything down. No water, nothing. And I got extremely dehydrated. So they took me to the hospital and they like hooked me up with a bunch of IVs. With this baby though, I haven't experienced pretty much anything <clears throat> the last three days that we were in california i did get super nauseous and i did puke about twice maybe four times um but i think it was just more the more like the motion of the car and i think i was just done with being in california honestly because other than that like i was fine and we did eat out a lot and as soon as we would eat like we would get in the car and i think that's what really made it really bad for me because ever since i've been home i've been just like eating my normal meals and i haven't experienced morning sickness i haven't experienced nausea and i haven't even been like um I just haven't experienced much of anything like vomiting related so it's been super nice quickly going to just bronze the skin using these ColourPop bronzers these are the Becky G collection that they did a while ago the Ola Chola collection I know that these aren't available anymore um, but I just I've been really enjoying them because I did take them with me to California but yeah you guys I am so happy that I haven't been like getting anything crazy I am only in my first trimester so obviously I still have a lot to go through a lot to experience but I do feel like with this baby, it's just going to be a smoother pregnancy. I did just turn 30. Oh my god. Hashtag Team Pisces. My birthday was March 11th. So I did spend it out there in California. It was so nice. We didn't do much. But honestly, you guys, like, I'm such a simple girl. Like, I don't care to do anything elaborate or fancy. Like, I spent it with my family. My mom we went to Disney. We actually went to Disney, like, right on time because that's when like things started getting crazy with the coronavirus and they shut down disney so we literally got there just in time it's kind of scary because we were out there when i guess it was getting pretty bad and we were extremely cautious the entire time like we were making sure that the kids weren't touching like railings or like just touching things that weren't necessary you know we we're constantly having to wash our hands after like pretty much every meal after every meal between meals just every time we could, we would wash our hands, we would sanitize our hands. Oh my god, it was crazy. People didn't look crazy out there, but you could just feel in the atmosphere like 
the tension that was going on. It was definitely intense and I was scared because being pregnant, you guys know you can't take really anything of medicine. So we were just super cautious, but honestly, we still had a really, really good time and I'm just glad to be back home, be safe and just, you know, wait it out and see what happens from here on out because man stuff is getting crazy you guys so please make sure that you are being extra cautious if you guys are still working just make sure that you're always washing your hands and have as little contact as you can with people because people sometimes they don't care and even if they're sick they'll still be out and infecting people which is not the right thing to do god i'm such an idiot i wasn't even paying attention okay i'm quickly going to try out the highlighter from bretman rock I am such an idiot. I wasn't paying attention. This is double-sided. It comes with one side, um, gold lioness and bronze tigress, which is this one. I'm not going to try this one because it's very coppery um, and it's just going to be a little too dark for my skin tone. But I am going to take the, oh, that is so pretty, the lighter golden shade. I think that's going to be like super pigmented. And I'm just going to highlight like the highest points of the cheekbones. That's actually really pretty. I'm gonna take a quick little snack break. Comes with three brushes. Oh, this one. Oh my god. I should have used that one for highlighting. Oh, wow, that one looks so bomb. So I'm guessing this is a highlighting brush and then these are just eye brushes. This is what the palette looks like. Jungle Rock, really, really pretty. I love the packaging. It's so like summery, very Bretman Rock. He's so extra. Me and my sister, my youngest sister, we love watching him. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this because, wow, these colors are vibrant. I'm just quickly going to prime my lids with my ColourPop concealer. I'm wearing this like orange shirt It says Malibu. I got it from Forever 21 when I was out there. So I think I'm just going to maybe stick with that. All these colors are super bright and there's not much that I can use to like make it look natural. So I think I'm going to go in with Two Can Play That Game, which is this really pretty deep like red burgundy. Another life update, you guys, if, again, you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not have noticed. Um, I did post, like, a little a little sneaky picture, but Brian and I finally got married. So we were out in Vegas, and you guys know, like, Vegas is, like, the wedding chapel. You can literally go and get married in any chapel that you choose, and we've been engaged for a little over a year, and honestly... I think we waited so long. One was because I really wanted my mom to be here and I wanted her to witness me getting married and just be a part of that just because she has missed so much in my life and this was something that I really wanted her to be in. I haven't gotten my uh, wedding band yet. We're probably going to go look at that maybe this week and see what we can find. Because we were just, like I said, in Vegas, we were just like, hey, we're here. I bought him his ring and we just went and got married. I'm going to take the shade Pounce on him, which is that like burnt orange right here. It's almost like a neon orange. Oh my god, I actually have to go to Lonnie's dental appointment at 4 o'clock and I'm going to go looking like this. The ladies are going to be like, girl, what is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, you guys, I am officially a Miss Vasquez. I am so happy. Obviously, you know, this is the person that I chose to spend the rest of my life with and I just couldn't be happier with life and where I'm at right now, even in these crazy times. I just, I still feel blessed and I'm happy. I'm just, I'm just happy overall to be in the situation that I'm in. Flaming Ho, which is this pretty like violet, pinky, purple. And I'm just going to run that through the lower lash line. For my lashes, I am going to pop these on. These are also by Beauty Creations, Overcommitted. And these are 
super like dramatic but i think these are gonna go perfect with this eye look so i'm gonna go ahead and pop these on and i'll be back in just one sec okay lashes are on i feel like these are super dramatic but they really go with the eye look so for my lipstick i am going to try i also haven't tried these i also got them um from los callejones these are also by beauty creations i just kind of went ham with beauty creations I think i'm gonna go with this shade right here this is called Unforgettable, and it's a really pretty. Like, all of these are nudes, except for that dark, like, brown one. I mean, it's a nude, but it's not as a... It's not as nude as the other one, so we're just going to apply this. We're going to set the skin using the Jungle Rock 3-in-1 Face Mist. This one says to shake it, so we're going to shake it really quick. Mm, that smells really good. We are all glammed up, you guys. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little 12th week baby bump update. I'm going to show you guys. I'm not really showing too much. In some pictures, I might look like I look a little bigger, but it's because I have a lot of bloating going on. So this is my belly. Like, I literally don't have much of a baby bump yet. Like, it's all just fat. <laughs> But something, something is growing there. So I've been wearing a lot of loose shirts, so you can't really tell. But there's definitely something, something going on here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do plan on doing tons of updates for you guys and bringing you along with me for just anything that is like baby related. If you guys are also pregnant, definitely let me know your symptoms down below. Thank you guys again for being with me today. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.